and welcome to Only Slightly Opinionated. I'm Jamie. And I'm Joey. And today we are only slightly opinionated about pet peeves. Motherfucking pet peeves. You know what I'm saying. But before we get to that, how are you? Oh, I'm good, baby. You know, What's new? Not a whole hell of a lot. I mean... I'm just working and ooh ooh we had like the last 3 mornings it's been like like 59 degrees in the morning and it has been lovely. I mean just to tell you when I'm getting up doing my exorcisms and I get out there and it's a bit cooler it feels so lovely. I said to myself this morning, "Ooh, I might even need a sweatshirt." <laughs> Which not is something you such say often. Break. No, not down here. And it's such a break from how fucking hot it's been. So I am loving that because it's been so hot and going straight from from being hot at home and then going into work and working all day and it's fucking hot in the restaurant and it's just too much hotness. You need to form <laughs> a union or some shit. I do. Just have some proper a- AC. If Shell's listening. Get that AC working, girl, because uh, yeah, you're killing you're a killing brother. Mm, you're killing a brother. Out. Yeah, it's wearing hot here. Out. It's supposed to be in the 90s, like today, tomorrow, and Tuesday, which is Damn. gross, because we've had a good summer, and it's actually been cool the last couple of days, but now it's going to be yucky for a few days, which yeah, is, it's supposed you know, to get warm I can't complain too much, but... It's going to get warm here again, too, so it's not like we're totally done with it, but it was a nice <laughs> little taste of fall. <laughs> yeah, I need more than a taste. I'm ready for a whole big plate of fall. Though we'll, we'll get like a week of fall and then we'll have winter. So, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's what tends to happen. Yeah, um, I was just going to say I haven't watched any movies or anything. I haven't had time. No. I've been too busy. Um, we've still been watching Snowfall, although I do have to say, I don't know why I had it in my head that it was only four seasons. But we were already like nearing the end of the third season, and I was like lamenting the end is nigh. And then I looked yeah. it up, and I was like, "Oh shit, there's six seasons." Oh, so I'm nice. I'm pretty is fucking it, happy about done, that. Though? Is it still done, or is the six season still running? No, it's done. Yeah, it, it. The last season was this year. It aired at the beginning of this year. Okay. So, um, I'm super excited to watch. I mean, and I still, I'm telling. Anybody I can tell that that show is so fucking good. It's and and you know I loved The Wire, but to me it's better yeah. than The Wire. It's wow. better. It's just a. It's a better very. Than it's the kind wire. of like. It's kind of like The Wire meets Breaking Bad. Oh God! Kind of a thing. I know like shows you hate. Most <laughs> horrible sounding show. In the history of the world, the wire only meet Breaking Bad. To Jamie. Only to Jamie. No, not only because to Because everybody else loves them shows. Love oh, them. God. They're terrible, both of them. I mean, they're not terrible. I know they're good shows. Like, I know they are quality shows. It's not mm-hmm. that. I'm not saying it's crap. I'm not saying it's like, you know, whatever that show was, Caveman or, you know, or some stupid show like that. I'm not, that's not what I mean. I just (laughs) hated them with a fiery passion that is uh, never going to be extinguished. I've watched them all. I've watched every episode. I did that. I I did my due diligence, but no, no, them some (laughs) anti-hero bullshit shows. I'm just not for the anti-heroes. Snowfall is just more of that too. I mean, no, 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 don't need it. (laughs) That's my pet peeve. Anti-hero Ooh, shows. There we go. Now we done. Ooh, okay. Now okay. we done. Good night. Well, you're allowed to have that. You're allowed to have your opinion. Damn straight I am. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. Mm, even if it's a stupid opinion. Yeah, I said it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? Because I can, bitch. Because I can. So how is everything going on with my Jameson? Uh, fine. <laughs> don't sound too excited now well there's just you know nothing there's nothing exciting to talk about you know it's all just work and yeah and nothingness just dark deep nothingness in my life did you guys see a movie this weekend or no <laughs> <laughs> 
Did you uh, not go to the movies? Did not go to the movies. We watched a movie yesterday. We watched Cobwebs. <gasps> yes. Or Cobweb. I'm not sure How if there's an F in the end or not. Bad was it? <laughs> um, it's hard because there were moments where it was really good. Like it, it seemed like it was good quality. You know, it Lizzie Kaplan mm-hmm. was in it. You yeah, know? yeah. So it had like a decent kind of feel to it. But in the end, it was a little. You really had to suspend disbelief. I mean, obviously, in a horror movie, you generally do anyway. But right. This was like the 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 end of the story or the plot of the story or when you figure out what's really going on in the story without any spoilers you just kind of like really how did that work (laughs) so at the end i was kind of actually laughing a little bit at it oh but it was um it was tense it was uh you'll probably like it you'll probably like it because it wasn't i wouldn't say it was bad it just i don't know the resolution was not uh totally believable but you didn't like just shut it off and be like that was some bullshit no no but no no it was fine (laughs) you'll love it it'll be your favorite movie ever (laughs) i don't know it doesn't sound artsy enough for me i don't know it's kind of artsy it's It's, got you better have a fucking subtitle or some shit Anthony Starr in it. You know, he's Australian. So there you go. That's oh, international right oh, there. Oh, there we go. See, I'm in. There you go. And I think the, I think Cleopatra Coleman, I think is her name, is uh, Australian as well. So I don't even know who that is. She was on the last, uh, uh, the Will Forte show, The Last Man on Earth or whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which I didn't she, watch, but oh, okay. You might recognize her but when I you see her. That she's, she's been in uh, a few things. I think I know her first name is Cleopatra. That's how I remember it because it's such a, an unusual name. Oh, yeah. I think the last name is Coleman, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong on that. So no, nothing, nothing new and exciting going on here. Um, it's Memorial. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Labor Day weekend. We're yes, recording it is. on the Sunday before Labor Day, so we're going to my parents today for a little BBQ. Oh, I wish uh, I was there. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. They'd love be. that. Um, and then tomorrow we're doing nothing as far as I know, which is nice. I enjoy that. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all that's happening. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a lot. That's nice talking stuff. to you. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, your life is just so joyous and wonderful and filled with such amazing. Okay, no, I can't. I can't even go on with that lie. Because yeah. yours is a lot like mine, which <laughs> yeah, Just want to win the is, lotto. Each day is the ghost of the previous day. <laughs> Why can't I win the lotto? I wish you could win the lotto too. I try every once in a while. I try, but never lucky. Never. I lucky. think we have a stack of tickets we've never even checked. You could be a multimillionaire, and you don't even know it. I, I mean, nah, we have would... a tendency to do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> See, I buy my but... tickets. I buy my tickets online. So they uh... send you an email if you've won. So it's like, I don't oh, even have to check. They just send you an email. That's that cool. You've won. I read a story about some woman who bought her tickets online. And she woke up the next morning and looked at her account. And there was $2 million because <laughs> she had won $2 million. <gasps> and she didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. That's how I want to get my money. Just no know, effort just at all. Surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No work necessary. It just just befalls you. It just shows up in your account. That's what I yep. want. Yep. Wouldn't that be nice? I would Two like that. Two million simoleons. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So that's about it. That's that's really the whole crux of my life. Um so yeah, so let's uh, let's talk about them. Their um, pet peeves. Oh, the pet peeves. I mean, I, I I was kind of just excited about this topic just simply because I have a bevy. Oh, do you <laughs> pet peeves? Yes, do you? <laughs> See now, and it's interesting because I thought about this as soon as you said it. Like, what should we mm-hmm. talk about? You said it, and I was like, oh, that's good. And then I was like, what are my pet peeves? And I could literally only come up with two stupid ones. No, wait. No, 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 wait. So then I asked Paul. I said, Paul, as someone who knows me well enough, what are my pet peeves? And he started listing them. And I was like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I do be pet peeving about that. I yeah. sure do. <laughs> and then there were things where I'm like, is that a pet peeve or is that just, you know, uh, like what is the definition of a pet peeve? I wonder. Ooh, I don't um, know. Let's see. You should gurgle it and tell Please. the world what definition let's see the definition is something that a particular person finds especially annoying okay so that's that's pretty broad Uh okay yep Mm -hmm. it's pretty broad so then yeah i think all of my all of the ones that paul brought up were probably pet peeves because i do find them especially annoying so well hit me with one hit uh, me with one come on with it well like okay the one that i thought one of the ones that i just thought of was i fucking hate when people say anyways oh instead of anyway Mm-hmm. It drives me up a wall. There's no S. It's yeah. the same thing with putting like an S on Ford, Ford, yeah. or an S on Meyer, Myers. But it's it's the worst of them all to me, anyways. And everybody does it. Like everybody, everybody right. does it. Right, 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 it's not. Right. It's not just a a small collection of people. It's everybody fucking does it, and it drives me nuts because it's just not. There's no S. Why are you adding an S to it? But do you correct people or do you just no. have a, like a little twitch in your head? Like, no, mm. just a twitch. I would never correct somebody on something like that. You know? Yeah. And I, I just didn't do either. it. It wouldn't be. There's no. Because I mean, I do shit that annoy people all the time. So why would I be correcting people? You know, especially grammatically. I'm not like some grammatical right, right, genius. Right. I, what do you mean? Right, right, right. What do you mean? What? I'm not. Well, I mean, I, I, I didn't want to say it in front of folks. Why? But... Oh, God myself up for that one you did but, anyways uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. it's it's almost as bad as saying i seen ooh. Oh. no actually probably i seen is worse but anyways is more of a pet peeve because more people do it but you know what's funny is like because you know you say these things and in my head i'm thinking oh i know i've said all of those things but but you and i also have this thing of where we tend to speak to each other in Every single way that is not grammatically correct. <laughs> yes, yes, we do. We we for for comedy's sake will you know say instead of saying I saw I will say I seented. Yeah, you know, um, because it's just funnier that way. Um, yeah. but it's not. I would never do that in legitimate conversation. Gasp. Right, right. No, but uh, but what what? Ugh, I got a hair in my mouth. Ugh. Ooh. That's one problem with having like a mustache and a beard. You're constantly getting your hair in your goddamn mouth. Ugh. Mm. Mm-hmm. My face too damn fat to shave. <laughs> too damn fat to shave. That's going to be the title of my book. Too fat to shave. <laughs> a memoir. By Coming soon to a bookstore near you. Um, well, well let's- when I when I think about pet peeves, I mean, <laughs> I, like I said, I do have multiple, multiple pet peeves. Yeah. But one of the ones that I don't know why it just irritates me so. Yeah. But it is always at the top of my list for things that annoy me. And yeah. this may be offensive to some people, and I apologize. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to get us canceled, But it you? is my opinion. And uh. this my motherfucking show is my opinionary. Uh. Yeah, but, but don't get us canceled. Those God damn death date stickers on the back of people's cars. Like Wait, when they say it? in loving memory of, and then it has a name and then it has their birth year and their date. Oh, why? Why? You and it, I, it's what's in loving memory, the sticker or the car? Like, I mean, I ponder these things. Like, did your did your family member die and you got like a windfall settlement and you were like, I'm going to buy this car in loving memory of John. Like, I mean, I just don't get it. Or did the whole family say, oh, my God, we lost poor John. So let's all get stickers. Stickers? On the back. And then this here I a am. Random pet peeve, I must say. It- irritates the fuck out of me because i ponder these things jamie i'm in traffic i look up and i see one and i start thinking oh john john was only like 18 poor john <laughs> and then he croaked and then all he got to show feel for bad. is a motherfucking sticker on the back you, of a car you know why they do it they do it to get people pondering about john the more people thinking about john the better no people don't want to think about john 
What about they got their what about, own people got their own deaths? Like Aunt Clara, she died last week. I don't want to think about John, and then I start thinking, oh, poor Aunt Clara, I didn't get a sticker for her. Well, you should have. <laughs> what about tattoos in memory of? I mean, Does that's that, fine. That's fine. Okay, so it's that's just bumper fine. stickers. Yeah. The funny thing is, I don't think I've ever seen what you're talking about. I've what? seen never seen a bumper sticker. I've seen you ain't like, looking. I've seen like um people have in their back window like lettering that they have done or have had done that says shit like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't mean bumper a... sticker. I mean like oh. window cling or whatever the oh, fuck okay, those okay, things okay, okay. are. Yeah, I've seen I mean, that, it's but, annoying yeah. enough. I got to look at little stick figure families on the back of people's cars and, you know, start counting their kids and shit and start thinking about, oh, my God, that reminds me, too. I saw one of those on uh, one of those memes on Facebook that had like, you know, the family, the little stick and it figures. Said, Get off her. Bed. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, I was that just about to say it. Was I was so just about funny. To say it. Oh, anyway, my God. Get off her. Somebody wrote it had in like the so dust. many kids. In the yeah. little stick figure. <laughs> and on the dust in the car, somebody wrote, get off her. <laughs> just so hysterical. Because it's true. Like, I don't understand. It is people true. Who have, it's not a pet peeve, but I don't understand people who have, like, seven kids. Like, it's just in this day and age. <laughs> in the olden days, you know, my dad is one of eight. Like, I get that. There wasn't a whole hell of a lot to do, but fuck. But <laughs> there's streaming services now, okay? You don't need to fuck all the goddamn time. Mm, mm. But that's why I call them death Period. stickers. Period. They just, you know, they just annoy me. They're just, just looking death at them. Stickers. Interesting. Death stickers. Yeah. Interesting. It's very popular down here, apparently. I guess because <laughs> I, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's. I have seen what you're talking about, but it is quite rare that I've seen it. I've only seen well, it a few times. Which leads me to another one that is probably going to offend somebody out there, or somebody's going to oh, be like, no. "Oh, Joey, for real? Say it ain't so." But you know what I cannot stand? What? Fucking Jeeps and the little rubber fucking ducks on their dashes. Have you seen this? Mm -mm. It's like a Jeep thing. Like if you own a Jeep and you drive around in your Jeep, <laughs> if another Jeep sees your Jeep and decides, oh, I like your Jeep, they gift you a little rubber ducky. And leave it on what? your car. Yes. And then now these Jeep people have a collection of like hundreds of little rubber duckies on the dashes of their car. Of their Jeep. What are you talking about? I, I, I promise you it is a thing and it annoys me. Because you don't need them little damn rubber duckies. And I, I mean, it's, oh. They call it ducking. Yes, ducking. Yep, it even has a term. That's really stupid. It's weird because this rubber duck thing also happens on cruises. Um, what? People bring rubber ducks on cruises and hide them, like, all over the ship. And then if you find them, you're supposed to What take is happening to this country? And they attach little tags, and it'll say, you know, um, conquaculations, they mm, always say. Mm -mm. I'm like, mm, no, you're it not don't. Doing, no, you're it not don't. Doing good there. Uh, and then it'll say like, you know, you found this on, and it'll have like a spot for the date and the family who mm -hmm. left it. And then you either keep it or you hide it again for someone else. Right I've out into the ocean. One. That's where I would put it. Bloop. I've never seen one. I've never found one. But I'm in no, all actually, these Facebook groups. I do have to say though, I just for anybody listening, I would not do that out into the ocean because it's plastic and the turtles <laughs> and everybody will eat it. So no, I would not do that. Yeah, the turtles and everybody will eat it. You're right. <laughs> right. Everybody, everybody will. Everybody yeah. will. Especially them turtles. I mean, they love rubber duckies. If there's somebody out floating on a little floaty that was like lost at sea, they oh. might eat a rubber ducky if they were desperate. Maybe they would. Maybe it would be See? companionship for the so person floating. Everybody. Um, what's another one for me? Uh, well, I mean, uh, uh, probably this is actually probably the biggest one. This is one that Paul had to <laughs> remind me of is just I hate bad drivers. I hate bad. I'm I mean, such I have a, a lot of I, driving related pet peeves. Like, yeah, you know, I mean, I just think that's natural. Yeah, but, I think. But so I think when you say than, bad driver, you mean what exactly? Like anything like I just I, this is 
probably not even really, it, it, I mean, this is a pet peeve, but it's more of a, it's less about the driver and more about my reaction to the driver that I think mm-hmm. Paul brings up. And I'm, I'm just, I get this from my dad. I'm just a, you motherfucking goddamn bitch, why don't you fucking move your goddamn oh, you, car? You do cuss you a know? lot while you're driving. I do. <laughs> I really do. Yes. Oh, good. Now you're going to go. Thanks. You know, shit like that. Uh, yes, I get very angry. I um, I mean, I, I don't. I'm like not a honker. No, I don't no. like that. All of my stuff is stuff that nobody would hear. You know, I'm not trying to get shot. Um, I mean, I yeah. have probably flipped a couple people off because I mean, a time or two. That's what happens. But uh, yeah, bad drivers. That's another big one for me. Late people, people being late, ooh, ooh. fucking hate. I hate it so much. It's at, at home or at work. If you tell me you're going to be there at a specific time, you better not be more than like five minutes late. Yeah. If you're if you're, if you're more than five minutes late, ooh, I'm done with you. I'm mm. done with you, person. Yeah, um, it irritates me. Drives me now. I am always early because I've always I was always told. If you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. And if you're late, you're fired. That's what I was God always taught. Damn right. Um, and it it just it drives me so nutty. Uh, shout out to my sister Lori again, who's always late. <laughs> oh. Putting her on blast right there in the podcast. Poor Lori. Hey, it's her fault for listening to the show. <laughs> If she didn't listen, she wouldn't know that I was talking about her. <laughs> Hit me some more. Hit me with some more. Hit me with your best um, shot. Come on. Well, fire away. I mean, there are just so many. Like one 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 thing that drives me crazy, which I guess would be a, more of a modern thing too, though, is um what a lot of people refer to as vague book. You know, oh, on yeah. Facebook when people yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like yeah. uh lots going on right now. Can't can't tell you, but yeah. Oh send yeah, prayers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's always about fucking prayers. You really need oh, your prayers right now, everybody. Uh, okay. Well, what am I praying for? Am I praying that you win a million dollars? Am I praying for somebody who's sick? Am I praying that your toenail fungus goes away? What am I praying for? <laughs> tell me what I am praying for before I start praying for some shit. Don't vague book and 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 get me all oh. in, in the church lighting candles, and I don't know what I'm lighting for. You could be, I could be lighting candles for Satan. Oh, I could be lighting see? candles for Satan and not even know it. <laughs> you probably would too. Well, I wouldn't know, you know, if I say, okay, I'll light a candle behind it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you don't tell me what it is I'm lighting a candle candle about. Oh yeah. But then yep. I find out that it's that you're worshiping Satan and it's that you, you know, completed your first blood ritual. I'm supposed to pray for that. No. No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not I refuse. Do it. I refuse. Jesus is just all right by me, okay? Right. Yeah, because some people want prayers for shit that don't need no kind of prayers. No. I mean, it, no. come on now. Save your prayers for like people being sick or uh, you know, stuff like that. I don't want I'm not praying for your new job. I'm not praying for your, you know, that your wedding goes well. I will wish you luck, but I'm not praying for it. Mm-mm. I mean, the truth of the matter is I'm not praying for anything. I never say prayers. I right, mean, like right, the right. two people, I never say I'll pray for you. I always say I'll send, you know, good vibes your way. Or, oh, yeah. You know, yeah, sending too. love because um, I don't pray. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a that's a good one. That's a good one. And the whole, what else you got? <clears throat> all my prayer warriors. Can I get all my prayer warriors? <laughs> what the fuck? Ew, ew, it's so gross. I, I mean, on, and on the same thing with the prayer and the, the whole like, like, oh, my life is so blessed. Blessed and highly favored. Like, ain't all these motherfucking people out here are all blessed up? I mean, <laughs> and they be the what? ones on Facebook with all the shit going wrong in their lives. It's like, motherfucker, you ain't blessed at all. <laughs> And motherfucker, I think you cursed. <laughs> oh, but they curse, I mean, but they feeling blessed. Oh, okay. I'll they let them. I'll let them feel blessed. blessed but yeah, I'm just here to tell blessed. them they ain't blessed. Ain't blessed. That ain't, ain't none blessing. of your ass is blessed. None of y'all. No, 
None of you. No. Mm-mm. I hate to break it to them, but they mm. didn't. Mm-mm. Um, but like, like here, because this is such a tourist town. Yeah. When you talk about drivers, um, everybody here in, in the peak season has lost their goddamn minds. They just all rules of the road do not exist here yeah. because if you're on a three lane road and you're like, Oh, I need to go left. They just cross across all the lanes. No. Oh yes, they do. On they, a regular basis. Oh my God. All the time. I mean, this is the accident capital of the world. There are more Man. accidents in Myrtle beach than any other city per capita. It is constant really? accidents, constant because people I, they just lose their minds instead of going, Oh shit. Well, I missed that turn. I'll just, I'll go past it and I'll yeah. whip around and I'll come. No, nope, no, nope, they don't do that. They just cross right across the lane or they just stop. They'll just stop and go, I'll just let all this other traffic move. And then I can go where I want to go. Ugh. I mean, oh. it is like infuriating, yeah. and they don't know how to, I don't, I don't know if the people are coming from the motherfucking mountains and they've never even driven on a main road. I, I don't I don't know, but they get here and they don't know how to merge into traffic. They will they will pull into the merge lane and then just stop. Just stop. Just wait. <laughs> it's like what? what that shit will set me off. And I don't do a hell of a lot of cursing in the car when I'm, you know, driving around, but that will get me going. That will get me and I will. Well, that would get anybody going. Yes. That's ridiculous. And they're terrible down here. They're just terrible. They, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why people believe that if they miss a turn, that they're going to end up in another country and and cannot get back to where they were. Like, it's like all of a sudden they're just lost. <laughs> oh yeah. man! So that that, no, really... that would be bad. Plus, that here too, they bad. don't understand. Like we, I mean, we we don't. I, I just mentioned last week that we don't have a major highway here. But we do have like, you know, uh, um, I I guess it it is a highway, but it doesn't go anywhere. It just goes up and down the beach. But it's a big three lane road. Right. Them motherfuckers will drive the exact same speed across three lanes. And it drives me insane because I'm here behind them. And there's three people that are in each lane driving the speed limit side by side. So I cannot go around them. Do you think it's some sort of conspiracy? It feels like it, but I no. It, mm. They're just fucking ignorant. <laughs> okay. Make sure you're not uh, you're not uh, starting to wear tinfoil hats or well, anything like that. I mean, and and just throwing back to when my nephew was 16 and getting his driver's license, we were driving with him, you know, and he was he was taking us, and he got out into the highway, and I was said to him, I was like Bailey why are you driving in the middle lane? And he said, that's what we were taught to do. I was like, oh, hell no. I think that's a good no to drive in the middle lane. If you don't want to go too fast, you don't want to go too slow, you want to drive in the middle lane. Jamie, motherfucking Richards. That is not the rules of the road. What are you you talking about? Always stay to the right. All other lanes are passing lanes. They are not lounge lanes. Your, that's not that's not how it works. Bitch, here. look it up. Keep talking. Bitch, look the, it up. The left I mean, we're lane is the fast about, lane. We're not talking about an avenue like and Woodward the right avenue lane is the slow lane. No, I'm talking about like 696 rules. or I 75. Yes. The yes. the right lane is where cars go fast. Whether or not they're supposed to, the right lane is where cars go fast. Well, okay, yeah, and no, the, you're and the and the and the, I'm sorry. The left lane is where cars go fast, and the right lane is where cars go slow. So, like when I'm having anxiety, I drive in the right lane because I don't want people speeding up on me, and I'm not. But taking, you should and nobody gets be bad. driving in the right lane. That's the thing. You always stay to the right, and you only no, you get pass. over. You pass on one side. You don't drive on one side. Why would they have three lanes for you to only drive in the in the right lane? Listen, Joey? bitches. I. They're for passing. Oh, oh yes, my they, God. They put two whole lanes on an expressway just for passing. Are you out of your fucking mind? All right. I'm 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 stopping this conversation and I'm going to, I need some, some, some people to write in 
at osopodcastcontact at gmail.com and tell this motherfucker the rules of the road because he do not know. Keep and, talking. And, I'm looking right and, now. And, and we can't, we can't, listen, everybody, we Keep can't talking. hate him. We cannot hate we cannot wow, that's awfully post strong. pictures of him and throw darts at it simply because he does not know the rules of the road. I mean, his rudimentary brain oh cannot gosh, really so... process the actual way that the system is set up for people to drive and to avoid. Okay, here traffic. we go. Hold on. Oh, oh, keep okay. talking. Keep talking. I'm oh, finding no. it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Laid you. No, out. we don't want dead space. So keep mm. saying bad things about me. Mm. No, Come on. I could go on. I could have a whole podcast called "Let's Talk About How Stupid JB Is and His Driving Abilities." Choose the right lane if you are traveling at a consistently slow speed, your exit is approaching, or you'll be traveling on the highway for a short time. Okay? Choose the middle lane. Uh, choose the center lane if you are passing a vehicle, which makes mm. sense, and in the oh, adjacent for right-hand lane. Right. Mm-hmm. If you're pa- Of course, you still always pass on that side. That's not what I'm saying. You always, you know, people who pass on the right are wrong. Mm. Mm-hmm. But the lane isn't only for passing. You don't pass into the middle lane and then get back over into the right lane. That's mm, all I'm but, saying. But you are you driving do. faster than vehicles in the adjacent right-hand lane. The right-hand lane is completely occupied by large vehicles. You must merge left to avoid their blind spots. You're moving over for stopped emergency vehicles. So it says right there, you are driving faster than vehicles in the adjacent right lane. Use the mm-hmm. left-hand lane if you are traveling at high speeds or you were using that lane to pass another vehicle. So that's exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying there are three lanes and the left lane is for people who want to go fast. The right lane is for people who want to go slow. Let me ask you a question. Okay. You're on the highway. Yeah. Ain't nobody in the right lane. Yeah. What lane do you drive in? How far do I have to go? A few miles. If it's a few miles, I stay in the right lane. If I'm going somewhere, let's say there's no, let's say I'm going at four o'clock in the morning, so there's no traffic, but I'm driving an hour. I will not drive that whole way in the right lane. I will drive that probably that whole way in the middle lane in case there are cars coming down to merge. And I'm usually not going fast enough to be in the left lane. So I'm usually probably driving in one of the middle lanes. You wrong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, people can, people can, can. Uh, what about a four lane highway? What do you do then, Joe? It's the same goddamn thing. So now you there's two the right. lanes just for passing, and you always stay to the right. Always stay to the right. Okay. You, yeah. I don't know where you went to driver's ed or who taught you how to drive, but you are absolutely wrong. Ooh, ooh. Even after Absolute. he Googled it and found out that he was wrong, he still going to tell can't, me I'm wrong. What are you wrong. talking about? I just read. The, what are you talking about? It, I just it, read something that co- corroborated what I was saying. Ooh. You drive in the right lane if you are traveling at a consistently slow speed. You drive in the middle lane if you're driving faster than the right lane. And you drive in the left lane if you're traveling at high speeds. That's what it says. You want me to send you the link? Nope. Okay. Don't Let's need move it. On. <laughs> you do. I think you do. Unfortunately. I, I hope we get some people to write in. I hope so too. I really, really. I hope so too. I would love to be wrong. I would. You are. So Ooh. good for you. Okay. Um, another pet peeve of mine is <laughs> when someone won't admit that they're wrong. <laughs> it drives me nuts. But to I'm have never someone wrong. just to have someone just say they're right all the time who can never ever admit that they're wrong about something, no matter what. No matter Maybe what. I'm always right. You know this. Well, there you go. That's why it's pet peeve. See? Mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Ah, ah ha, ha, wait a minute. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here's another oh, one. Bitch, you can find anything you want on Google. Here's another one. This is from AAA, bitch. And it says, on a two-lane freeway, use the right lane for cruising and the left lane for passing. When there are three or more lanes, hold on, I got to click on it now. <laughs> Where does it say? Uh, freeway driving skills. Okay. Okay, here we go. Keep talking. Keep talking. No, no. I want you to read out loud. You started reading. Reading. I'm, I'm trying to find what I was reading. <laughs> speed lane, <laughs> speed and lane selection. Okay, speed and lane selection. Um, when let's see. Generally, the right lane of a freeway is for entering and exiting the traffic flow. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're entering, coming on the ramp or going off the ramp in the right lane. You're not right. cruising. It is a staging lane for use at the beginning and the end of your freeway run. That's This is AAA. The middle lanes are for through traffic and the left lane is for passing. If you are not passing someone, you should not be driving in the left lane. I, that I agree. If you are traveling on a roadway with two or more lanes, you should move out of the right lane unless you are driving at a slower speed or preparing to enter or exit. That's AAA. Okay. So people can email us all they want. I'm satisfied with the fact that you are completely wrong and have learned something your entire life. And now you are afraid to admit how wrong you are. I still say I'm uh, right. Of course you do. But that's, that, that's, Joey, I could have God himself could come down and tell you the truth and you would still say, <laughs> I'm right. I know I'm still right. <laughs> Jamie's so stupid. Jamie's so stupid. He doesn't know shit. I'm Wait, always is, right. Is that how I sound? That is Come exactly on, how you sound, like a little oh, Cletus oh. from from the deep south. <sighs> Hi guys. Oh my god. Um, what time is it? Okay. What else you got? <laughs> what else you got, bitch? That was mine. What else you got? Uh, well, I already said mine. When people can't, can't admit that they're wrong. <laughs> well, I have another one that kind of affects you. It drives me nuts. This is very specific as a tech person, as someone in IT. Oh. Uh-huh. It drives me nuts when people are having a problem and they don't think to restart their computer. More, I'm talking about at work mostly because I have <laughs> drilled it into everybody's head to restart their computer. And I'll come down. There'll be a problem. I'll restart the computer and everything will be fine. Drives me up a wall. Just restart your goddamn computer and it fixes 99% of the problems out there. I would agree with that. Yeah, you I should agree with that. Yeah, but then it happened to me this morning, and then when I restarted it, it took forever. I had to update and do all that shit, but it worked. Motherfucker, I can't say I'm saying it cleared the problem. Restartable computers, it cleared the problem. Why well, they got to restart anyway? Fix that I shit. Got to like clear out all the cobwebs, clear out all the bugs that are going on. Damn. Okay, there was mine. Now what's yours? Okay, here's one <laughs> that always irritates me. So, and I think about this because we go to we go to Aldi on occasion and shop there. Yeah. But I am one of those people when I get my grocery cart, I get the little wipey things, you know, the little, right. the little sanitary things, and I yeah. wipe down the handles and I do yeah. all that on the buggy because people nasty. Yeah. People but- are, people are nasty. It ain't gonna help you. And then I go through and I do all my grocery shop. And then what do they do? They take your groceries and they put them in some other go- grocery cart that I don't know if that shit is clean. Oh, Aldi. Yes. Right. They take your shit. Oh, what? Well, that's another pet peeve, too, is they don't just take your shit and place it into the other one. They toss it in there. They don't care if it's apples. They don't care. They don't care if it's bananas. Bananas. Peaches. Got to get some to bananas. They will just toss that shit, your producieries, and they'll toss them in there, all bruised up. And then you got to worry about touching this because you don't know what's been happening to that grocery cart. Well, the grocery cart just had groceries in it before. They're not making you touch the handle. That don't matter. Well, yeah, now I got to. That's my grocery cart because they transferred my stuff into this new grocery cart. I got it. I got it. That's my grocery cart now. Wear gloves. Mm. Bring hand sanitizer. Mm. I mean, I could, but okay. Yeah. Now you just all argumentative. No, I'm not. <laughs> you I'm just, just want to argue with me. You I know that's some bullshit. I, I spend my time cleaning that golf cart or golf cart, golf grocery cart. cart. What? I spend my time cleaning it. Yeah. And then you're gonna make me sub it out for some some lesser than. Well, you're talking about a store that you go to once in a while. You said. This isn't uh-huh. like an everyday occurrence. So Ugh. when you go to a regular store and you clean off your handles and everything like that, you're fine, right? You're good mm-hmm. until. But then you know what the other thing is, is you're cleaning your handles, but then you're touching all the groceries. You don't know who's touched those groceries before you. Now, see, I know all that, but you ain't got to <laughs> pop that in my head because now I'm going to start thinking about it. Babies be sneezing on shit, <laughs> you touching that stuff. They got their hands <gasps> down their pants and they're touching <gasps> the stuff. And then they t- then you touching it and putting your hands in your mouth and stuff, and you getting baby oh. poo poo in your mouth. Mm. It's true. That's what be happening to people. 
It's just like people people who don't wash their hands after they go to the bathroom. <laughs> that shit just grosses me out. How do you know when someone doesn't wash their hands when they go to the bathroom? I mean, like, if, you know, like I'm talking about in like a public restroom when I see, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay. guys come in, especially if they're coming out of the damn stall. Yeah. And then they yeah. walk right out the door. I'm like, oh, you fucking nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and then they're going and they're touching your groceries. Exactly. That's see, what they're doing. See, don't put it in my head because you know once doing. I get it in my head. You got the poo poo oh. groceries. You're oh. always buying the poo poo groceries, especially down oh. in South Carolina, I bet. They had lots of poo poo on the stuff in there. I'm sure there probably is. Probably yeah, like they say like poo capital here too. Fecal matters on like a lot of stuff that we wouldn't think about. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody else's poop was on something that you touched. Mm-hmm. How about that? Think about Don't that gross for a minute. me out, Jimmy. Don't do it. Think about it for a minute. Don't want to think about it. Ew, it's gross. <laughs> it really is. All right, what you got? What you got? Got any more? Oh, I, I mean, I've got a bazillion more, but, you know, uh, when the reason why we only go to the movies at 10 a.m. on uh, a Saturday mm-hmm. is because I fucking can't stand it when you're in a movie theater and there's nobody there. You pick your seat, you got everything good, and someone's got to come and sit right in front of you when there's nobody in the fucking theater. Why? Or have to sit in the same row or have to sit in this, you know, like whatever the case may be. I Why? don't understand it. Like, I feel like. I don't like, get it either. Are they lonely? Are they just want to be near somebody? Um, yeah, I don't know what it is. So I I specifically, I, now I've taken to the point where I won't sit on anything but an aisle seat. Just so nobody can sit next to me, <laughs> except for Ooh, Paul. Okay. He doesn't like that. He likes to sit more in the middle, but I don't care. I win <laughs> on that one because <laughs> the chance that somebody might sit next to me. No, sir. Ooh. No, sir. Somebody I don't know. Oh, God. Yeah. It gives me hives. Oof. I used to do the, um, cause I used to have, uh, you know, really when I was doing the really bad panic attacks and stuff, and I always wanted to be like, at the edge so I could like leave the theater right. very quickly and not have to step yeah. over anybody's feet or anything like that. Yeah. Now that's the other and reason I, too. when I pee, I can just get up and go. Yeah. And then I started doing like just the next seat over. So I would, cause I'm leave the one empty at the very, very edge. Cause you know, there's nine times out of 10, somebody's not going to come in and take the one end yeah, seat on see, the end. That chance, man. Oh yeah. It did happen to me. Yep. Soon as that happened, I was like, "All right, back to the edge." Yeah, uh, <laughs> no, because people are stupid. People mm. are ridiculous and 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 don't think and don't care about other people's space. Don't care about you know. Now, granted, they paid their money; they should be able to sit wherever they want. I get that, but that's why I sit in an in an end seat so that way I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, and I don't get mad. Oh my god, I have to yawn. <laughs> you are boring the shit out of me jesus apparently Christ. i am just not entertaining enough oh, for you me, you aren't good god you argumentative little troll do what? you ever get stuck behind yeah i heard it um do you ever get stuck behind the people too though what i you know I, are I was we thinking driving about again no 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 we're oh. at i was thinking about being at the movie theater but this could basically apply to anywhere that you're waiting in line to like okay. place an order or you know okay. you're getting yep. your popcorn or whatever yeah why why do people because they are fully aware that there's 10 people impatiently behind them waiting in line because you know they've only got one one space open and only one person working and scooping popcorn and everything and then they get up there and they're like so tell me about the nachos (laughs) like (laughs) it's motherfucking nachos what you need to know this ain't question and answer hour motherfucker get your shit and go now tell me, what does the Big Mac go well with? What does that pair with? I mean, if you ever watch those videos where people like lose their shit inside like fast food restaurants and stuff, I totally get it because I have been close to that sometimes where I'm just like, what are you fucking talking about? Get out. It's the same thing like if you go to um, uh, the drive through pharmacy, like if you're going to just like, oh, I got scripts ready. I'm going to go pick my scripts up. Yeah. And then you get back there and it's like, I'm like, 
are you giving blood at the window? Like, what is taking so long? I used to feel that way when I would use drive up ATMs. And I'd be like, are you applying for a loan right right? now? Why is it taking you so long? Oh, my God. Let's go boop, 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 boop. Get your money. Boop, 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 boop. Bye-bye. Peace out. I mean, it's like a two-second transaction. Peace, brother. I don't. I I never. I will never understand that. It it just irritates me. Just oh, irritates like, oh, me. Funky in the picture right now. Ain't nobody looking at your hair. They just listen I'm looking to your at my hair, lips flapping. They can hear it in my voice. They can hear my hair in my voice. The feeling of my hair. Mm. What, what's happening with my hair? I'm like Samson with this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like Samson. Yep. I don't know if they've talked about Samson being like old and gray. Doesn't matter. They talked about his hair. That's all I'm talking about. I don't know if you I got love my gray hair up in there, though. I love my gray hair. That's where all my power come from. Mm. Mm-hmm. I just Damn. cut all my hair off. Mine was long. Frankly, it was getting long. And I was like, Was it? Psh-k. Psh-k. Your it was hair like, was psh-k. getting long? It was. For me. In the back? No. Well, that's the only place you can get long. <laughs> <laughs> I just want everybody to see your stupid little face right now. It's so cute. I'm so proud of myself <laughs> for getting a dig in. Uh oh. Do you have any more big ones that you want to share with the peoples? Mm. Mm-mm. I don't know. I, no? think, I mean, I could probably come up with a hundred more, but. Well, yeah, of course. There's there's a bazillion more, but one of my pet peeves would be a podcast that goes on too long. So <laughs> That's true, too. It's, we don't it's wanna... good to make it short and sweet sometimes. Yep. We don't want to do that. We don't want to be uh, that but podcast that doesn't know when to stop. We do want to hear about other people's um, pet peeves, too. So if oh, anybody yeah. has any. That and they if would Joey like offended you with his religious hatred, just um, you can email us. Uh, I or read the emails hatred. first. So, <laughs> um, I will make sure that he is punished severely for his blasphemy. Oh, I just thought of some one person who's going to be upset. Oh, great. Meg. Meg a ho. Because she, she drives a Jeep. Me. And she, oh, yes, does she? she does. Oh, yes, she oh, listens. I, I don't know. No, I just said, does she? Oh, she does. And she, oh, I just thought about that too. Because she has a Jeep and she likes Hi, Meg. Ducks. Meg, I love you. But them Jeeps, are st- them little ducks is stupid. They stupid. I still love you, though. <laughs> She's not listening. <laughs> She's not listening. She, she probably won't listen to this one. She'll be like, oh, okay. Nobody's listening, Joey. Nobody. <gasps> they are. Are though? Are they? We've got thousands of do we screaming fans. Thousands I can't even go anywhere anymore. Fans. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. It must be. We must be really big in South Carolina then, because in Michigan, <laughs> um, people uh, don't know who the fuck we is. Oh god damn it! Did you hear that sound? Nope. Okay, good. Uh, I was looking to see what our latest uh, stizats were. Dead space. I was like, this is gripping entertainment right here. Yeah, we're down 45%. People did not like current events. Oh, wow. Queer cinema people really liked. A vacation people really liked. Well, I say really 71 people. That's all. But still, that's that's good. That's our biggest. episode before the except for the first couple which people listen to and then we're like mm, i don't need to listen to that anymore. <laughs> i'm done I'm with these with two <laughs> i'm good with it uh, yeah it's that charm that you exude of course it's my fault well i mean it's gotta be somebody's okay say good night gracie good night gracie no uh i love you as even though you're an evil little troll I love you very much, and uh, I hope you have fun back under your bridge. Uh, I hope it's comfy cozy for you. I will trip trap all over your ass, motherfucker. I know you will. All right, baby. Well, I will see you later. Have a happy and safe uh, Labor Day. You too. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Love you too. Bye. I'm the first. It's just a few small things that keep getting under my skin. And I shout, no, no. And I'm about to count to ten. Relax and not again. And I shout, no, no. These are my 
my pet peeves. How many times is my toaster gonna burn my toes? Why is it that setting? I don't think.